In April, the Indian Air Force carried out the largest war games in the last three decades by bringing together more than 1,100 aircraft. The exercise, named Gagan Shakti, was used to test the IAF's combat readiness for a short and intense war. It boosted the confidence of the Air Force, especially with regard to fighting a two-front war. At the biannual meeting of top IAF commanders held on May 31, Defence Minister Nirmala Sithraman praised the force for carrying out such a major exercise without any glitches. She said the focus of the exercise was to draw lessons for evolving the doctrinal loop of the IAF. The man who was in charge of the exercise was Air Chief Marshal B. S. Danoa. In an exclusive interview with The Week, he said the exercise demonstrated the IAF's capability to achieve and sustain a very high serviceability of aircraft and systems. Danoa, however, expressed concern about the depleting combat strength of the IAF, and said the force would reach its desired strength only by 2032. At present, the IAF has 31 fighter squadrons, but it needs at least 42 to fight a two-front war. In comparison, Pakistan has 25 combat squadrons, while China has 60. Danoa defended the Rafale deal by saying that there was no overpricing and that the government negotiated a very good deal. He said the delivery of the Rafale jets was progressing as planned and they were expected to be inducted into the IAF between 2019 and 2022. Excerpts from the conversation Number 1. How was the IAF's experience with Gagan Shakti? It was one of the largest exercises conducted by the IAF, considering the scale of asset utilization and manpower participation. The IAF has achieved more than its laid-down objectives for the exercise. The aim was to test our real-time coordination, deployment and employment of air power in a short and intense battle scenario. The logistics stamina, operational logistics, supply chain management, op readiness and prolonged sustenance of high-tempo operations were put to test. Number 2. How do you react to the dwindling combat squadrons of the IAF? As far as the drawdown in the strength of the fighter squadrons is concerned, it is being given due emphasis. We are upgrading MiG-29, Jaguar and Mirage 2000 aircraft in a phased manner, as part of obsolescence management. The induction of 36 Rafale aircraft will commence by September 2019, and will significantly enhance our operational capability. The induction of the remaining Su-30 MKI aircraft of the total 272, from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will be completed by 2020. The induction of the 40 Indigenous Light Combat Aircraft, LCA, Tejas is also ongoing. Additionally, the RFP, request for proposal, for the procurement of 83 LCA MK1A was issued last December. Number 3. When is the IAF expected to achieve its required combat strength? The next step would be the design and development of the LCA MK2 which has been renamed as Medium Weight Fighter, MWF. Further, RFI, request for information, for 110 new fighters has been issued on April 6, 2018. If all the inductions take place as planned, the IAF is expected to achieve its authorized strength of fighter squadrons by the end of the 15th plan, 2032.